Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to play with some thermites. Uh, is thermite like a familiar product for you? Uh, just uh, slightly. We yeah. have some some experience with it. Yeah, I have once. been I have been showing off with my toys for <laughs> yeah. Hanna trying to like. But I think thermite is not the best thing to get girls. Yeah, it, it's not that impressive. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's it's not that like it didn't make the difference. <laughs> but today we are going to see what's the difference between different thermites. You have seen mostly like aluminium iron oxide, but we are going to today try also magnesium thermite and then completely new one, copper oxide. This should be really fast thermite. And yeah, idea is pretty simple. We are going to just mix them up here and then we are going to just ignite them all and see how they react. And this is part one of our thermite video series. We have here some thermite grenades ready to be filled. And then we have also some interesting targets for those. But that's on the uh, second part of the series. So be sure to subscribe the channel to see that. Okay, first as a demonstration, we are going to burn regular iron oxide aluminium thermite. And we are going to today have like some fun. We are not going to use like the electric safety things. We just use good or original fuse and then like titanium based firework mix that's going to burn really bright yes. and hot yes. and ignite this. Yeah, that looks so nice. It's ready. Yeah. And then we need matches. Okay, here is your regular iron oxide aluminium thermite and as a reminds you have nice lumps of steel. And I think this is mostly used mixture just because it leaves the steel here. Because you, if you are destroying something, you want the steel to stay there. So there is time for the heat to, to get transferred. And if you are like welding something, then it's also good to have the steel there. So this is like the most used thermite mix. And let's make some magnesium thermite and see what's the difference. And please don't try this at home. Mixing the metal powders when they are super fine, it's like really dangerous thing. The uh, dust is toxic for your lungs, so you have to always wear breathing protection. And don't do this in your kitchen. It's going to be in your house and then you are going to breathe it later. So leave this to us. And of course you are going to also ruin your eyes and burn everything when you light this shit up. Okay. Now the magnesium iron oxide, this should burn much faster and brighter and there is a lot of it. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, super fine camera work. I forgot to turn on our main thermite camera for some reason. But uh, here is the end result. It was really surprising. I thought that there isn't going to be nothing left. But there was a stupidly hot cake. I think this is magnesium oxide probably. You can see some of the white color on the left. That is typical for magnesium oxide. But it was way way hotter than the steel one. I'm not sure was it really hotter or was it just like in like there is more surface around this. Steel was nice small like solid clumps and this is like this uh, foamy thing. I'm not sure was it like because of the how it was left there or was it actually hotter or actually you can see it from the color that it's probably not. Actually it might be hotter now when you look it there is like there is quite bright bright light coming from the middle so it actually might be hotter 
Then uh, we started to mix the copper thing and the instructions that I had, uh, they were like focusing on safety quite much. This seems to be much more dangerous than the other thermites. But luckily Henka has a lot of experience mixing stuff like flash powders and stuff like that. So we were able to make this safely, but uh, don't definitely try this one at home. Okay, and now we have the copper thermite and we are going to test with small amount. The instruction that I looked said like mix 10 grams. So we are going to first test 100 grams and then we are going to test with kilogram. <laughs> Yeah, and this should explode and send liquid metal in all directions. Oh, sounds nice. Yeah, but I think this completely useless as a thermite. Mm. It's like lousy explosive, mm. but not good thermite, so that's why nobody uses it. Yes. Okay, we throw everything that we had here because the first one looked so safe that <laughs> need to go bigger. This is like five times more. Mm. And I have the steel plate here, so we're going to find out. Does it melt it at all? Yeah, it didn't do shit for the steel plate and here it is side by side with the iron thermite and <laughs> the difference is huge. The copper gets like really fast start but then it's all gone and I think this is one of the examples where you can be too quick to do anything useful. And the steel is still heating the plate under it so it's like much better on the things that you use thermite for. I think copper thermite is more like it's it's bit it's not explosive. It's like gunpowder. It just burns really really fast. And I try to get the part two out quite fast. We filmed this last summer and I just forgot this. But now we have the big lathe video coming soon, so I want to like get the channel going on. So I remember that I have this to warm up the channel. And on the next video we are going to put thermite grenades to mailbox, then we have like simulated cannon barrel and lot of other cool targets. So subscribe the channel to see that and the, of course the like moving the big ass lathe. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.